Hey guys, the Jaggies have released sinkholes to the game now. The first Dungeoneering, Distraction and Diversion. So this is the guy where you start it, as you can see, the big Distraction and Diversion symbol above his head. Now what this guy does, he's kind of just a teleport there and tells you when exactly they're going to happen. So the sinkholes appear every half an hour. They originally were going to be every two hours, but they've changed it every 30 minutes. I'm not sure why. So if you talk to him and press 40, you'll find out where it is and how long it is to the next one. Now... This isn't too useful now that it's every 30 minutes, it's more useful when it was every 2 hours. But if you talk to him, he tells you the next thing hole will appear near where several famous brothers lie in about 11 minutes. So several famous brothers lie is a little hint to where it's going to be, which kind of defeats the point of the teleport, because it's going to just teleport you there anyway. So I don't see the point in it giving you a riddle. But obviously that would probably be, I'm assuming, Barrow's brothers. But obviously I'm not sure yet until I teleport. So you'll find out how long it is. And then you can know when exactly you need to come and talk to him again. And you can right click and teleport. He won't teleport you until the actual time when the surf hole's right there. And um, when the sinkhole appears. So the sinkhole will appear at half past. Which is 20 past now in my time. So obviously it's going to be half past and on the hour every day. Um, I assume it'll stay at half an hour now. and They might change it back. However, it's every 30 minutes from now. And obviously I'll just teleport to him at half past. And I'll bring you back then. Right guys, so I'm teleporting to the sinkhole now. It seems it lets you teleport a few minutes before it starts. So as you can see, I was actually right. Look at this, it's at the Barrows Brothers. So it did say that it would be spawning in one minute now. It's currently 29 past, so it will be just about here. Uh, so I guess it's just waiting for it to for it to spawn. So obviously this is the first time I'm doing it, so I don't, obviously I'm not going to be the best at this, I don't know 100% exactly what I'm doing. However, I have obviously read the update, I do have a rough idea. So there's going to be like three challenges, it's going to be between five people. So you want to collect as many resources or items that you require for that challenge and put them into like a chute or something near the start of the dungeon and basically as soon as that challenge is complete though, no one else can add any in. So obviously the goal stands that you could obviously collect a lot at once and put them all in at once. However, if somebody else gets them in before you, you might not be able to put any in. So obviously by putting a few in at a time, you're guaranteeing yourself some points. But coming in first place in the challenges gives you the best rewards at the end. And it also gives you the best chances of keeping the best rewards. Because there's a little card game that you must play where you can steal each other's prizes at the end. Oh, so the sinkholes appeared. It looks exactly like the resource dungeons. But it's here, enter the sinkhole. Yes, let's go! Right, so players ready. Total players known, your state not ready. Sinkhole collapse. Right, so what I have to do, I'm not sure here. Right, enter dungeon. This is your first time here. Do you want me to explain what to do in the sinkhole? No. Your current items that kind of be... Oh, right, so you've got to bank everything. So give me a second. Right, everything is banked. Let's enter dungeon again. Do you want me to explain? No. Excellent. Right, let's find a party. Um, did it say find a party? Oh, here we go. Right, so I need to get 55. Collect any raw fish from the end of the sinkhole. Kill enemies in the sinkhole that I get totems. Search the sinkhole to find these. Right. Right, so there's, re there's equipment here, so I'll take mele melee equipment. Right, so I've got dual wield. Right, so this is good for dual wield, I think. Right, so there's some totems here. Combat totem. So every every monster you kill drops a combat totem. Oh, come on, attack! Right, so th these just get wrecked by the looks of it. This is a joke in terms of the difficulty of the monsters, anyway. Right, so y every you get cards as well. So there is a lot of different cards and they do different things, but you can only keep five to the end. So I assume if I investigate it, it'll tell me what it does. You can't do that in combat. Oh. Right. So there is an eight, I think it's eight minute time limit, but it's down to six minutes now. Oh, I keep running away. I need to collect the combat token. <laughs> um... I can pretty much own them very fast. There's pretty much no use of abilities here. Protecting Titan card. I assume that like protects it. Um, have I got stuff to fish with? Collect these totems. Fish heim crabs. Oh yes, I can fish. Good. 
Right, collect a uh, film and invent, and I think I'll go and put these in as soon as I fish these. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I can't let him get back there first because if he's got 55, then I'm screwed, you see, because it can't go over the limit. So I want to make sure I get mine in. Now, there isn't that many com. There's 17 combat ones, and I've got quite a few of them. I want to get as I want to get them all in as fast as I can. So let's go and put them in. There's five minutes left. So as you can see, I'm a bit of a noob at this. I'm not sure if they know what they're doing, but they've just seemed to run extremely fast. Um, now, where do I put them in? Enter treasure door. Deposit treasure chute. There we go. Right. So I put everything in the chute there. Um, that got me some, I guess. Let's get let's get more combat ones. Seven out of thirty-five combat ones. Oh, I thought the bomb ones combat ones. They're the like exploratory ones. There's quite a lot of them ones by the looks of it. I can get the combat ones reasonably fast. Oh, there's some fish here. Let's get these fish. So there's six out of fifty-five fish deposited. So I'm gonna get a full invent now, hopefully, and get there before anyone else does. I'm right near the shoot. So I can get there extremely fast after I fish them. But you're definitely getting a lot less fish per spot than in a normal dungeon. Um, so as it says, it says top tip, make sure you deposit your items before the object level is complete. Otherwise the items won't add to your score. So obviously if it goes over 55, any you deposit won't count towards your score. Um, I'm rank 1 at the minute. So I'm actually doing the best. But that's because obviously I didn't want to take a risk there. I wanted to make sure I deposited them. Whether that means that's that, whether that's a good thing I'm not sure I'm getting a lot of fish here by the looks of it oh so somebody's deposited a lot of fish wait I'm gonna put these in I want to get these in in case there's more and then I'll go back and get the rest obviously you say you waste time making sure that you can put them in because obviously it takes time to run backwards and forward so how many fish is that 11 more fish I'll get the rest of these I'm still rank one at a score of level 400 a score of 410 so, the one that's missing is combat. Um, there's quite a lot needed still for combat. Right, oh no, wasting time fishing. Wasting time fishing. I need to go and kill. They're the only ones that are left is the killing ones. So I need to go and kill. Right, I'm still rank 1, that is good. I, I assume no one else can see the combat totems that your monsters drop. I think that would be a bit silly because you could just steal them off each other. Uh, it's quite annoying that I keep one hitting. Uh, I'll pick that other one up on the way back. If there's... Right, 2 minutes 34 left. Obviously I need to finish before the time limit as well. That's quite a high level zombie. I'm still rank 1. That is good. I assume rank 1 means I'm the best, not the worst. I hope so. If not, fuck off RS. <laughs> I've deposited quite a lot, I think. I can't be doing too bad. I doubt I'd be last. Um, I'm not sure if depositing more ones gives you more points as well. Come on. Right, I'm going to go and put these ones in. Do, 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 do. Some fish there. Wait, is this little bank item here a shoot? Oh, so the shoots appear around the dungeon as well. So where the bank items are on the la on the screen, you can you can deposit stuff. That's awesome. Right. So I'm up to 600 score now. And I'm still rank one. I'm assuming that means I'm best then, because I have deposited quite a f quite a few sh quite a few stuff. I don't know what that glowy thing is. It keeps appearing above that fish spot. There, we, there we go again. I'm not sure what that means, but the fish is at a max, so there's no point in me looting any of that. Right. One minute for 13 left. What cards have I got? Um, trading Mantis card. Let's investigate. Uh, investigate. Protects your chest from being moved once per game. I've got two of them. G randomly generate a new card that will be played immediately. Trade your chest with the next player. Oh, that's quite cool. So if I'm not best, then I... So if I've got them Steel Titan ones, I can protect it. So if I'm rank 1, I should get the best reward, which means I can protect mine. That's awesome news. Ooh, three more, three more. I've deposited quite a lot of combat ones. I'm not sure if anyone else has been really doing the combat. Um, if I open the map, can I see everyone else? 
Um, let's take a look. Ooh, see, so it can. Look at that. Oh. Oh, oh. It's because we're all done. I don't know if I'm rank one or not. Let's play a game. First, let's mix things up. So I see him, I get the best one if I'm rank for one. Right, what did I get? Yes, I got first! I'm a beast! First go, and I come first. So as you can see, the first person always gets huge lamp. That's what always happens. Hen, hen R4 summoned some meerkats. They dig up a medium lamp, but some, uh, I don't know. Right, so it goes from fifth to first, whoever uses the cards. So obviously first has the advantage because they can use their card last. No one's going to affect them. So, um, this is quite cool. I came first. I'm happy with that. Razdan summons a thieving locust. It spots Hen R40 in last place and swaps their chests. Right, so if I use my thieving, thieving lotus, or whatever, trading mantis, that was the one, and it'll take this lamp, I assume, this person's here, I assume. But I might not even have to. I've got a huge lamp. I'll see how much exp Mr. Queen plays it safe and summons a consistent yak. He's heading home with a medium lamp today. So basically, if you, if so the yak, you'll keep whatever item you've got. So he's going to be keeping the medium lamp. Is Yentl going to use his card? Summons a preening ibis. It swoops in and adds some clothing to Yentl's chest. Oh, so that's, it did mention in the news post there was one card that you could use and it would give you a guaranteed piece of the clothing reward. So I'm just going to skip. I've got the huge lamp. I win! Yes! I'm the best. Ooh, so I also get 5,166 Dungeoneering tokens. That's pretty cool. Let's rub the huge Dungeoneering lamp. 103k! <laughs> I don't I think you can play twice per day. I'm not sure, actually. I will check that right now. It actually doesn't look like there's a limit. So you can actually play this every every half an hour. So as you can see, I got 103k engineering XP. But obviously it is a lamp, so it will be affected by your level. But that's not bad. It's it's a little fun game. I think this could be quite fun once people get good at it. I mean, I was terrible and I came first quite easily there. But um, I think it'll actually be quite fun from the news posts and all the videos and stuff. Um, I think I had a little fun playing this, and I came first, though. I am awesome! Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope this was quite informative to the minigame, give you a little insight if you've not been yet, or you haven't had a chance to. But good luck coming first if you want to, if you want to play. And also, I want to get that. I want to get that armor set. It makes you look like the Garajo. So, that, like the armor I was wearing inside the dungeon, that looks like the outfit. And that would be awesome to have. Anyway, guys, yeah, yeah, thanks for watching.